there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make these primitive looking country trees using some ribbon from our sponsor, Offray. You can find them online at www.offray.com. We're also going to use some styrofoam cones. These came from the dollar store, but you can also find them at any craft store. At the craft store, you're going to pay a couple bucks a cone, so I would check the dollar store first. So what you're going to need is some wired burlap ribbon, and the wired ribbon is just super easy to work with. You want to start by adding a bead of hot glue along the bottom of your cone and then you want to carefully add the burlap carefully so you don't burn yourself because burlap is kind of a loose weave fabric and you don't want to get the glue on your fingers but also you want to make sure you have that ribbon lined up to the bottom so that it won't be tippy on your table or your mantle or wherever you decide to display these beauties so go around carefully and once you have that first row of ribbon then you can kind of pinch and pleat the uh, wired top edge of the ribbon as you go up the cone and that will give you a nice tight fit. Keep on gluing and wrapping and just try to keep the ribbon snug. That way when we go and add our beads or sequins later using tiny little sequin pins, they won't pop out. If you have too much of a gap between the burlap and the cone, the um, embellishments are gonna wanna pop up and that's not what we want. But it's just all it takes is a simple just pleat and tuck. And that's why the wired ribbon is so nice because it kind of allows you to sculpt as you go. Now as we're getting to the top of the cone, you'll notice that my cone is flat, so I'm gonna need to extend the ribbon a little bit beyond so that I can have a nice pointy top on my tree. So to do that, you just keep wrapping and then scrunching and pleating, and then you just wanna fold under your ends and tuck them down. If you feel like you need a little more glue, go ahead and add it, but I think you, the wire's gonna hold it. Just kinda pinch it and sculpt it like that. Now let's make some ribbon roses to decorate our tree. These are super easy to make and I love it because you can use up all those little scraps of ribbon you have lying around. You need six inches of 3 8 inch ribbon, fold it towards yourself at a 90 degree angle, and then start twisting the remainder ribbon away from you as you wrap it around that center fold. And what you're making is a nice flat little rosette. And just kind of pinch it between your fingers as you go so it doesn't unravel. There, finish up until you have about an inch left and then you're ready to glue it down. So what you're gonna do is put a little dab of glue on a silicone mat and then press your little rosette into it and just hold it for a couple seconds until the glue sets. Now I have one that's already prepared and what I do to finish it off is put a little more glue on the back side and then I just fold down my ribbon ends. That way I can trim off the ends and keep any frayed parts at the back of the rosette and you'll never notice it when you glue it down to your tree. Okay, now for the fun part, we get to decorate our tree. I thought it'd be pretty to use some organza ribbon and make a little garland for our tree because it has a nice little sparkle to it. So what I'm doing to start off is just pinning that end of the ribbon down at the end and bottom of my tree. Now I'm just simply wrapping it around and lining it up with the um, kind of the seams from my burlap ribbon. Once you have it to the top, just grab another pin or you can use a little bit of hot glue and just secure it down. I decided a little bit of hot glue would be fine and I can always glue a little rose on top. They are very pretty and very country looking. So now what I'm doing is just putting little dots of glue on my tree and pressing the flowers into them. You can see here I'm trying to balance them out so that we have a nice design and there's no really crowding of the flowers. Just keep going around like that until you have flowers all over your tree. Now you can get creative with all sorts of other embellishments. I like to use sequins or beads. You can find short little pins called sequin pins that are very much like sewing pins, but they're just a little bit shorter. If you can't find them, go ahead and use like one inch sewing pins. They'll be just fine. I had some plastic pearls in my stash and I am just adding them in between the flowers on my tree. And there you have it, it's all decorated and so pretty. And I think I like just the plain pearls rather than the sequins on these trees, but you can decorate them however you like. I wanna thank Offray.com for sponsoring today's video. You can save 15% on your order before December 31st, 2014 by using the code FRUGAL15 on your next order. Please check them out at www.offray.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, happy crafting.